we are two people who live in countries that aren't our own, but we're two people who really take a step back with what we do. Nutrition, video, we take a step back and look from a bird's eye view of what really is going on. There's always more to the puzzle than what we think. And with all that you do, I applaud you for what you do. I'm grateful for what you do. And I'm glad you're here with me. So Audrey, question for you is, who are you looking to connect with right now? I'm um, looking to connect with people who are at the stages where they are considering to start a family together, uh, preconception stages, or, the, or people who have gone through years of um, unexplained infertility and who I can help to educate them about their bodies and what the necessary requirements to actually um, conceive and create a healthy embryo and to, you know, to continue a pregnancy to a really healthy baby in the end. Um, I am looking to help the, especially those who are been through unexplained infertility and to really help them look for that root cause of possibilities of what is preventing this, you know, them from conceiving naturally. Yeah. Wow. It's, again, you are a hero. You are a guiding light for, for so many people. Cause again, it's one of those conversations that just doesn't come up all the time, but it's one of those, as we've talked about, that's kind of coming to the surface and being so much more open, so much more talked about. And it's, it's you really helping those um, keep that conversation going and, and make sure that all the pieces of the puzzle, our nutrition, our health, our stress, everything yeah. that's all a part of that is all aligned so we can continue and, and, and walk down that path that we want to with starting a family. Second question for you here is, with those people you're looking to connect with, what's the conversation you want to start as you move forward? Yeah, the conversation I'd like to start with them is that, um, you know, I really want to work alongside them. And as you said, to kind of step back and have that bird's eye perspective of everything that's going on in their lives and for them to understand that it doesn't take just one thing like nutrition um, or, or more sleep to help um, to, to, you know, to achieve their goals. We have to look at all of the other things, the, the, the impact of stress, the impact of possible tr past traumas that people might be carrying that is actually impacting their healthy production of hormones. Um, you know, the, the, the blood flow of nutrients to reach their cells, are they actually mindfully eating their foods? Um, so just to really have that whole package together to bring themselves to a place of health and wellness. So almost stepping aside from the fertility aspect and their goal that they want to achieve in the end, and really see the steps that are necessary to get towards creating these healthy eggs, the healthy sperm, to then create that, you know, that, that embryo that will last the time of pregnancy. 